Hello, you guys. Let's talk about Chapter 11, Lesson 4, Stem and Leaf Plots. Now, stem and leaf plots are very, very new for people, so you really want to listen to this lesson. And for the vocabulary, I'm just going to show you something, okay? A stem and leaf plot always has this bar down the middle, okay? And anything to the left of the bar is called the stem. And anything to the right of the bar, these are called the leaves. And there's no way you can ever understand a stem and leaf plot unless they give you a key with how to read it. And see this key says 6 bar 1. Well, that in this case means 61. And they're talking about heart rates, student heart rates after doing one minute of jumping jacks. So this kid had a heart rate of 61 after doing one minute of jumping jacks. Now see this 8 bar 4, that would be some kid had an 84 uh, heart rate. And then 8 bar 6 would mean 86 heart rate. 8 bar 8 would mean 88 heart rate, and so on, okay? So down here, something like this, 15 bar 1, that would be a heart rate of 151. And so I'm just kind of giving you an introduction. And remember, stem and leaf plots also must have a title. Okay, so let's do an example together. Making a stem and leaf plot. The scores of the top 15 finishers of a snowboard half pipe competition are shown below. How can the data be displayed to show the distribution of scores? And so they give us all the numbers. And you can display the scores in a stem and leaf plot. Now, the best way to understand a stem and leaf plot is to take the first number they give you. See that 38.4? And you want to break it apart. So the smallest place value, in this case the tens place, is going to be the leaf. So the 4 is going to represent the leaf. Everything else represents a stem. So I'm taking this 38.4 and I'm thinking of it as 38 plus 0.4. 38 is a stem, 0.4 is a leaf. Okay, so now we're going to do go down here where it says the unordered plot. So the first thing you want to do is go over that bar really dark with your pencil. And then... See how the numbers are 38s, 40s, 37s, and so on. The smallest number that I can see is 37.1. So I'm going to start with 37s, and then I go in order. 38s, 39s, 40, and 41. And notice the key here. We're going to show somebody how to read it. 38 bar 4 means 38.4. Okay, so let me grab my pencil, and um, let's do this together. So see this first score, 38.4. Go to the 38 and put a 4 after it, and then cross it out. 40.6, go to the 40 and put a 6 after it, and cross it out. 37.8, go to the 37 and put the 8 after it. 38.9, go to the 38 and put a 9 in the next spot, and cross it out. 41.7, go to the 41 and put a 7 after it. 39.2, go to the 39 and put a 2 after it, and cross it out. 37.1, go to the 37 and put a 1 after the 8. And then 41.4, go to the 41 and put a 4 and cross it out. 40.5, go to the 40 and put a 5 and cross it out. 38.8, go to the 38 and put an 8 and then cross it out. 40.9, go to the 40, put a 9 after it, cross it out. 39.3, go to the 39, put a 3 after it. Cross it out. 41.2, go to the 41, put a 2 after it, cross it out. 38.3, put a 3 after the 38 and cross it out. 37.1, go to the 37 and put a 1 and cross it out. Okay, now let me go back to my pointer. See that the stem is organized because we wrote it 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. But see all the leaves? They're out of order, and we have to organize it. This is not the answer, not yet. So I'm going to switch back to my pencil, and what we do is we just put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So rather than writing 8, 1, 1, I'm going to write a 1, a 1, and then an 8. And then for 4, 9, 8, 3, I would put the 3 first, then the 4, then an 8, then a 9. So we're just putting them in order. 2 and 3 is already in order. So leave that alone. And then I'm going to put the 5, 6, and then the 9. And then the I'm going to put the 41s in order, 2, 4, and 7. And so now that everything is in order, 
and I have a key. I put my title, Snowboard Times. Now I'm going to box my answer. So this is the final answer right here. Okay, the organized one. And that's the one you want. Don't ever box the answer of the unordered one. Okay, so let's do another one together. The guided practice. We're going to make an ordered stem and leaf plot of the data. These are baseball pitch speeds in miles per hour. And they give us all those numbers. Well, remember, take that first number and see if you can tear it apart. So I took the 86 and I said, okay, I can think of it as 80 plus 6. So the 6 is my leaf and the 80 is going to be my stem. And I noticed that the smallest number I can see is 68 and the biggest number is 97. So over here, I want you to notice something. Put that bar down, but then look at what they do. For 60s, they just put the 6. They don't put a 60. Um, and the 7 represents 70s, 8 represents 80s, and 9 represents 90s. And now let's let me switch over to my pencil and we'll do these together. So look at the 86. I would go to the 80s and I put a 6 after it. Whoops, I didn't want green. I apologize. I put a 6 after it and then I cross it out. And then 83, I'd put a 3 after the 80s, cross it out. 74, go to the 7, put a 4 after it, cross it out. 95, go to the 90s, put a 5 after it, cross it out. 89, put a 9 after the 80s, cross it out. 97, put a 7 after that, after the 9, cross it out. 68, put an 8 after the 60s, cross it out. 88, put an 8 after the 80s, cross it out. 72, put a 2 after the 70s. 97, put another 7 after the 90s. 94, put a 4 after the 90s. 85, put a 5 after the 80s. 70, now look at this, put a 0 after the 7, so we know that represents 70. 89, put a 9 in the 80s. 80, put a 0 in the 80s. 93, put a 3 in the 90s. 91, put a 1 in the 90s. 84, put a 4 in the 80s and cross it out. Now this one is not organized. So now look over here. This is where I organized it. I put a title, the pitch speeds. I look at my stem. I put the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I have my bar going down. And then I'm going to organize it. The 8, I just copied the 8. For the 4, 2, and the 0, I put them in order. 0, 2, 4. For the 80s, I put them all in order, 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 9. For the 90s, I put them all in order, 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 7. And then you must have a key. Now, it doesn't matter which data item you pick. I just picked a random one. And so I said 8 bar 6 equals 86 miles per hour. And once I have everything the way I want it, then I want you to box your answer. So this would be the final answer that you would box. You don't box the rough draft. That's not what we want. We want the final answer. Okay, look at example two with me. Interpreting a stem and leaf. Sometimes they're just going to ask you questions about it, but you really want to listen so you know how to do this. It says, movies. A stem and leaf plot at the right shows the ages of people in a movie theater. Use the stem and leaf plot to describe the data. What interval includes the most ages? Okay, so now they gave us a key here. 2 bar 0 means 20, so those are the 20-year-olds. But take a look at this, the 0 bar 5. That means that somebody was 0 tens and 5 ones. That means there was a 5-year-old in the theater. There was a 6-year-old in the theater, a 7, a 7-year-old, 8, 9-year-old, okay? But a 10-year-old would be right here. A 1 bar 0 would be a 10-year-old. All right, so um, the oldest person is 51. We can see that right here. And the youngest person is five years old, the zero five. So the range of ages, range, remember, is the high minus the low. So 51 minus five would give us 46. Now, um, the interval that includes the most ages, you can see the longest bar right here. But be careful. And I'm going to use um, a yellow to just kind of, and I want you to do this with your highlighter. Just put an arrow right here, okay? So you can see that's the most. And a lot of people get confused here because they say, well, now wait a minute, Miss Steele. In the theater, there was a 10-year-old and a 16-year-old. Yes, but anybody right here, this when you say that this interval has the most, 
you have to say anybody from 10 years old all the way up to 19 years old could have been in this bar, this interval. When they say, what's the interval? That means anything that could be in this bar, and that would be a 10-year-old all the way up to a 19-year-old. Now, there wasn't a 19-year-old, but if there were, this is where they would be. So the interval has to be every possible number that would be in that uh, bar right there. Oh, and this is where we're going to put the movie uh, clue later, underneath example two. Okay, so just like there were double bar graphs, there can be a double stem and leaf plot. And that's kind of cool. Look at this. This is swimming. The data below shows a number of laps swum during practice by swimmers on two different swim teams. Overall, which swim team swam more laps? Um, so, oh, here comes Kitty Kitty. She wants to be a part of this. All right. So the dolphins, and they gave us the data for the dolphins and the data for the sharks team. All right. So now let's do this together and I'll show you how we, again, grab that 19, that first number I see, and tear it apart as a 10 and a 9. So we know the 10 is going to be the stem and the 9 is going to be the leaf. And so now let me grab my pencil and I'll see if I, Kitty will let me do this. Okay, so the dolphins, the 19. So go to the one and put a nine. Oh, okay, I was still on my highlighter. Put a nine after the one and then cross it out. And then 25, go to the 20s and put a five. After that, the 30s, go to, and put a one since that's 31. 26, put a six after it. Okay, 17, put a seven after the tens. Oh, kitty kitty's giving me a kiss. Okay, 25, put a 5 after the 20s. 26, put a 6 after the 20s. 18, put an 8 after the 1s. 23, put a 3 after the 20s. 19, put another 9 after the 1s. 25, we're going to put a 5, and I'm running out of room there, I'm sorry, and a 4, okay, and we're going to cross that out. Okay. Now, that's just my rough draft. I'll make it look better. And then for the sharks, let's do the sharks. So 18, I'm going to put an 8 after the 1 on the shark side. 25, I'm going to put a 5 after the 20s. 9, remember, that has 0 10s and 9 1s, so put the 9 after the 0. 15, we're going to put a 5 after the 10s. 30, we're going to put a 0 after the 30s. 24, we're going to put a 4 after the 20s. 17, put a 7 after the 10s. 18, put an 8 after the 10s. 22, put a 2 after the 20s. 16, put a 6 after the 10s. 28, put an 8 after the 20s. And 19, put a 9 after the 10s. Okay, now we have our rough draft, but now let's make it look good here. And I wish they would have given us more room. So I'm going to switch over to my pointer. So notice the dolphins are on the left-hand side. And notice how the stem has two bars, okay? So in the middle, the stem is zero for zero tens, and then the tens, and then the twenties, and then the thirties, okay? Now, let's organize it, but watch what happens. See this bar? That's where the smallest number has to touch, and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as you move more to the left. So see how it's nine, seven, eight, nine? Let's organize that so it's seven, eight, nine, and nine. For the 20s, again, the smallest uh, has to touch the bar. So it would go 3, then 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, and 6. And for the 30s, it would be a 1 there. Okay, now let's organize the sharks. And you can see I did that, so 0, 9. And then I put the 10s in order, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, and 9. Put the 20s in order, 2, 4, 5, and 8. But the 30s is just the, the 0 uh, for the 30s. Okay, and then look at the key here. Kitty Kitty really wants to play with it. Okay, so um, the key is one bar, three bar, zero. So this key, you have to read it from the left and from the right. So grab your red, and from the left, for the dolphins, I would start at the, at the stem, the three, and I'd go this way. So three bar one is 31. And then grab your blue, start at the stem, three bar zero would be 30. So that's how you would read a key on the double stem and leaf. And so their question was, overall, which team swam more laps? Well, clearly it was the Dolphins because they had more swimmers in the 20, from 20 to 29 interval. They had more of them. Okay, so let's talk about this guided practice. We're going to make an ordered double stem and leaf plot to compare the times in minutes that two friends spent online last week. 
So Omar, these were his times, and Joseph, these were his times. Okay, so notice how the times go from zero minutes um, up to, let's see, 68 minutes. So I'm, so I know it's a double stem of leaf, so I'm going to put a double, double bars, and in the middle, the stem, I'm going to have zero tens, tens, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, and sixties. Okay, now let me switch over to my pencil. And so um, I want people to look at Omar, 35, go to the 30s and put a 5 and cross it out. 26, go to the 20s, put a 6, cross it out. 30, put a 0 after the 3, cross it out. 48, put an 8 after the 40s, cross it out. 55, put a 5 after the 50s. 13, put a 3 after the 10s. And 38, put an 8 after the 30s. Okay. And now let's do Joseph, 46, so go to the 40s, put a 6 after it, 15, go to the 10s, put a 5 after it, 68, go to the 60s, put an 8, 0. Now you have to put a 0 after the 0 to show that we have that data item. And then 44, put a 4 after the 40s, 49, put a 9 after the 40s, and 32, put a 2 after the 30s. Now remember, this is just our rough draft, so then switch over, look over here. For my final one, I have Omar, and I have my stem. In the middle, I have zeros, tens, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, sixties. And then I have Joseph on the right, and then I'm going to organize these. So um, the three looks good, the six looks good. But look at that 805. I have to remember the smallest number has to, ouch, touch the bar. Sorry, kitty kitty just bit me. All right, so I have zero, five, and eight, and then after the forties, the eight, after the five, the after the 50s, the 5. And then I organize Joseph here after the 0, after the 10s, after the 30s, and then 40s. I put those in order, 4, 6, 9, and after the 60s, the 8. Now you have to have a key. And so my key is 0 bar 3 bar 2. And so reading from the middle to the left, that would be 30 for Omar. From the middle to the right, that would be 32 minutes for Joseph. All right, and then in general, who spent more time? Definitely Joseph. Look, at he had more in the 40s and the 60s. All right, and for the movie clue, um, write down what just happened with Kitty Kitty and uh, put that where I told you to put that earlier in the movie.